This is an instructional video for the measurements that we require to make a kinetic finger. So fortunately I have all of my fingers but um, for the purposes of this video I'm going to assume that I have an index finger that is severed from this knuckle. Uh, for the design of the kinetic finger it does require a finger stub below this first knuckle um, and in some cases, if the stub is too short, uh, we also, it won't also function. Um, we need some sort of good length in here to be able to get leverage on the finger to then allow the kinetic finger to open and close. So the first step is to um, draw a line across the wrist position here, where it creases, as well as with a closed fist, a dot on each of the knuckles so that we can tell from the photographs where those knuckle positions are. So for the affected hand, the first photograph that we require is to send a photo with all of the fingers straight and level with the top of the ruler. It's really, really important to, to do this um, so that we can get the right measurements. If the hand is on the table, as you can see, the hand looks bigger in scale to the ruler and vice versa. So it's really important to take a photo level with the top of the ruler and from directly above. The second photo that we require from you is similarly to draw a line on the unaffected hand with dots on each of the knuckles. And this is also um, really important to get level with the table so that we can understand the scale of the affected finger. So we would know that we need to make a, a finger of, of this length from the knuckle. So that is really important. The third photo that we require is then again of the affected hand. Uh, this looks quite difficult um, because I still have my finger in place. But the only thing we're really interested in here is the length of the stub to uh, this line right here. So we can design our finger so that it will, uh, it will fit correctly. And finally, for the affected finger, um, if you can get a piece of cotton and wrap it around the finger so that then when you take um, that length of cotton, we'll understand the circumference of the finger. So then um, if you can send the fourth photograph of that piece of string stretched out onto the ruler, um, we should be able to get um, a quite an accurate circumference of the finger from that photograph. Thank you.